Wow, this road trip is going to be great when driving from Stepford, Florida to Winchester, Virginia. I agree. Wait until you and Becca see our place in our hometown. Estimated driving time. 10 hours and 55 minutes. Estimated arrival time. 6.50 p.m. Oh wow. That could be a 10-hour drive. I just want to stop in Valdosta and Savannah. On the way home from visiting our house, Becca. Wait until you hear about the newly renovated rooms that you guys have. I hope your father, Malachi, is a pro at building things such as a TV stand, window seat, and new shelves. I already have a newly built shelf out of wooden crates to replace the old one. My bed and big drawer are moved elsewhere in my room, and my nightstand has been replaced. It is just like an ordinary hotel nightstand. My TV. Xbox One console, controller, games, and my old computer desk are moved into my room so the TV stand will be painted whether or not my mom, Kiara, has the decision to paint it. Okay, now listen. We are following Angela's tomorrow so we are staying on track. Does anyone understand what I explained? Yes, yes Tom. Tom. Good. Because if we lose track, I need to call Angela to stop her vehicle someplace so we can meet up. First of all, Bodhi, why did we leave for your hometown amid the coronavirus pandemic? I'll tell you why, our planet is striving to recover from the coronavirus, and it is about time we take a road trip for the first time in four months. This is Lucky Bat, and you are listening to Uglyville Radio. Coming up next, Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. Little Miss Perfect doesn't like copyrighted music because this video may get blocked in Brazil or Ecuador as well as other countries. Please turn the radio off or at least switch it to AM radio. Okay, okay. I will switch to Bluetooth mode and maybe play a podcast on iHeartRadio. Switching to Bluetooth mode. Connecting to phone and paired audio source Angela's iPhone X. Connection success. I can't find a podcast, but I found NPR for talk shows and news outbreaks, especially the coronavirus pandemic reopening process. This just in, Attack 361 is voluntarily recalling 18,940 bottles of all clean products sold in 1 liter bottles to the consumer level. The products are being recalled due to the potential presence of methanol, which is wood alcohol. A risk statement says that substantial methanol exposure can result in nausea, vomiting, headache, blur vision, permanent blindness, seizures, coma, permanent damage to the nervous system or death. Although all persons using these products on their hands are at risk, young children who accidentally ingest these products and adolescents and adults who drink these products as an alcohol or ethanol substitute are most at risk for methanol poisoning. To date, Attack 361 has not received reports of adverse events related to this recall. Wow. No wonder the FDA has recalled all clean products such as hand sanitizer, moisturizer, and disinfectant due to methanol poisoning. We are glad we didn't use them. The product is used as a hand sanitizer and moisturizer and is packaged in 1 liter plastic bottles with UPC code 6280553701300. All clean hand sanitizer and moisturizer was distributed nationwide to wholesale distributors and retailers. No. Attack 361 is notifying its distributors via notice of a voluntary recall and consumers via this press release. Attack 361 is arranging for return, replacement, or refund of all recalled products, consumers, distributors, and retailers that have the product subject to this recall should stop using all clean hand sanitizer, moisturizer and disinfectant and return it to the place of purchase. Well, we are getting hungry. So I've turned of the FDA recall news article on NPR. Let's meet Tom, Ben, Hank, and Ginger at the Culver's in Leighton City. Thanks for watching part one. Part two tomorrow morning.